Hello everyone. I am so glad that you guys have made a decision and a commitment to work your business and to build your way up the Sensi ladder. It's awesome to have a group of individuals that are eager about the business and get ready because the rewards are going to follow with your efforts. So today I get to visit with you for a couple of minutes around IPAs or income producing activities. So I know like you guys, I keep myself really, really busy. And sometimes I feel like I'm running more than I'm home. But the reality is regardless of where we are or regardless of what we have going on in the real world, we need to find a way to be working our business effectively and efficiently and find ways to do income producing activities. So I'm gonna just again, go through a couple of things. Now I know many of you are newer consultants, so this may or may not be an option yet, but if you have the ability to enroll in warmer or scent of the month, as soon as you do, I highly recommend it. So first I just wanna to touch on that. One of the things that comes in the warmer and scent of the month subscription are 50 flyers. I always tell my team, your goal should be to hand out at least 50 samples and or flyers a month. That means you are planting seeds every single month consistently. Now more is better, but at least 50. If you're not doing 50, then you're not probably having enough conversations to allow for engagement for customer orders, hosts, and of course, join conversations, okay? So that's one of the benefits. So I wanted to say, if you get the warmer or scent of the month, utilize those 50 flyers to make sure that you're handing those out. That's one of the things you can do, very simple. When you're out and about, you're at the ballpark, you're at the PTA meeting, you go to the bank, everywhere you go, you could be sharing those. Now, if you don't have the ability to do the warmer or scent of the month yet, that's okay. Product lists are another very low cost item. So simply get some of the product sheets that we sell and have those on hand. And again, do the same thing with those. Set a goal of at least 50 a month. You wanna make it a priority. You can mail these out, hand them out, whatever you need to do to make sure that you're planting those seeds. So that's really important. Now, better yet, it would be to have some samples to go on those flyers and or product sheets. Now, again, if you're getting the scent of the warmer of the month, you can simply make the samples or use the scratch and sniff stickers. That's fine too. And, or if you don't, that's okay. Just get a bar or use your Scentsy Club. If you have a Scentsy Club subscription to get a brick of one of the classic fragrances, like possibly Clean Breeze, something that most everybody likes, and make some samples up. I like to use the felt samples so that it's easy to mail. And you can just simply staple those in a little baggie on top of your product list so you're handing those out. What I have found, if it smells good, people are a lot more likely to hang on to it and to keep it. So that's some things that you can do very simple. Now, some of you guys, maybe it's a lot harder to get out. Maybe you do a lot of your work from your phone or you need options or ways. So let's talk about social media. There's a lot of different platforms. And while I'm not gonna go into detail on all of the various options, I will tell you not only just making it a priority to post on a regular basis about certain products and sharing products, but one of the things that I have found to be really, really helpful for my personal business is when I get a new product in, maybe a new warmer, or a new Scentsy Buddy, I unbox it and I share that out right there in the moment and it generates interest, especially if you've got products like Counter Clean, Washer Whiffs, our Scentsy Fresh. People love the live demos too. So if you've not done a live demo, and I know not everyone loves video, I will tell you it's not my go-to favorite thing to do, but it does create engagement with your customers. And while some people know we're much more than warmers and wax, there are many that still only think of us as warmers and wax. So going live and doing demonstrations, that's an income producing activity because we know it's gonna generate interest, which is gonna lead to conversations, which is then gonna lead to sales, hosting, and better yet, sponsoring. Now, last but not least, 
I don't want to forget about follow-up. Again, not going to spend a lot of time there. That's another day. But follow-up is critical. That, again, is income-producing activities. I can tell you whenever I do a good job and I'm out there messaging, I happen to use Amy. The Amy app is what I prefer to use. When I send out my follow-up and I do my to-do lists, every week it generates income. Again, another income-producing activities. And last but not least, I just want to touch on the fact that reality is a lot of us and a lot of things have gone virtual. So if you haven't already, make sure you're sharing and utilizing the new feature on our website, the digital catalog. It's a great way to send that out through text message, through Facebook Messenger, and of course on social media. And customers can literally shop right from the digital catalog great, great resource that I want to make sure all of you guys know exists and that you're sharing and that you're using. And last but not least, if you haven't tried a virtual party, pick one. There's so many ways, whether it's Facebook Live, a Facebook group, maybe it's online bingo, so many ways to do virtual parties and people are really having a good time generating interest and having fun connecting through that. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope that you'll find one, two, or maybe even three things that I discussed to add to your to-do list. These things can truly be done anywhere under almost any circumstances. So enjoy your day. Let's make the best of it and let's continue to increase our income.